This is the United Nations building in New York City. Gathered here are representatives of nations from all over the world, carving out the destiny of mankind. This building has become an important attraction to out-of-town visitors, as well as the New Yorkers themselves. Ah, this is really some place, all right, ain't it, Andy? Yeah, it sure is. You know, that was a good idea of yours, Amos, of us doing a little sightseeing now and then. No, I enjoy it, Andy. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting things in New York that I ain't never even seen. Oh, yeah. And when you stop to think of the museum, the zoo, and the Statue of Liberty, and the United Nations building here, why, it's an education right in itself. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that. Oh. And that is, man, it's the East River. You know, I'd like to see a lot more of this place. If only we could find out why they start to guide it to us. Yeah, we better ask somebody. Well, let's ask these fellas then. Uh, pardon me, sir, but could you tell me where you signed up for the guided tours? Ah, scusate me. Io non capisco che voi dite di Italia in Italia ancora non parlo questa lingua. Scusate me. That subway we come on didn't take us out of the country, did it? Yeah, come on. Uh, pardon me, sir, but could you tell me where we signed up for the guided tours? A ver. Vayan ustedes hasta allí nada más. Se tomen el elevador que suba al segundo piso. Después, den vuelta a la derecha. Y ahí están. Allá se encuentran todos los agentes. Let's go see the Statue of Liberty. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, sir, could you tell us where the guided tour starts? The first intelligent answer we've had. Andy, we just gonna have to find it ourselves. Yeah. Oh, pardon me, miss. But I wonder if you could tell us where the guided tour starts. We've been having a little trouble trying to find it here. Is you come from Huh? come from Hello. Well, I don't know what you're saying, but I'm willing to learn. <laughs> about me, you having something to eat yet? Uh, eat, you know. Oh, oui, on restaurant. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, say, Amos, uh, why don't you run along on your sightseeing tour? Yeah, I know. And you want to see what you can do about untangling the foreign situation, huh? Yeah, well, uh, you don't mind, do you, Amos? Uh, you see, all my life, I've been wanting to meet a Hungarian gal. Good uh, morning, Mr. King. Here's your mail. Oh, uh, thanks, Lightning. Uh, see, Lightning, where is Andy at these days? I ain't seen him around here lately. Uh, Andy, he, he's got a new old man. He went outside the other day and met some beautiful French-speaking gal. It, it, it seemed that this French gal can't talk no English, and Andy, he can't talk no French. You're dead right. Mm-hmm. He, he asked me to look up a language school where he can learn what she's talking about. He ought to be down any minute, though. Mm, the boy is looking for a language school, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Andy? Hi. Say, Lightning, did you find out anything about that French, uh... What is this all about? That sign on the door there and all this hugging and kissing. Well, Andy, maybe you ain't here, but I done opened up a French speaking school here. Well, it's a branch of that famous university, the Ile de France. Yeah, well, how come you in a thing like this? I never know you to know nothing about French. Well, Andy, you may and you may not know. As a child, I had a French governess who taught me everything from far odds a car to hinky dinky party vous. <laughs> 
And on top of that, having a beret and everything, uh, I thought I might as well take advantage of the knowledge I done stopped up. English, I know you don't believe this, but it so happens that I'm looking for a school where I can learn how to speak French. Well, Andy, you don't tell me. That sure is a coincidence, all right, ain't it? Yeah, well, uh, how much you charge for lessons? Well, Andy, for the full quota of lessons, I'll bring you up to uh, 150 francs. Uh, how much is that? Well, uh, let me see how I can explain this to you. How much money you got on you now, son? Well, let's see. $27. Well, I be doggone. That sure is a coincidence. Got $27 just happened to be exactly 150 francs. So why don't you just frank the stuff over and we get rolling here? Yeah. Well, look, Kingfish, the reason that I want to learn this French is I done met a French gal the other day that I is crazy about. Oh, you don't tell me. Yeah, but I ain't making no headway with her. I figured if we know what each other was saying, uh, I might do better. Well, Andy, the thing to do is learn her mother's tongue. Uh, now, let's get along with the first lesson. But, Andy, does you know anything about French at all? Yeah, well, I know a couple of words and things. Uh, like, for instance, uh, uh, like when you tell the gal she's sweet, you say, Mon Cherry. Oh, no, no, Andy. You've got the wrong accent on there. In the French language, that ain't cherry. That cherry. Cherie. 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 Yeah, and even a French language is the one where you don't accent the first syllable, you're sprayed it. Oh. Cherie. Cherie. Oh, you're spraying good there, boy. Miranda. Well, come on, let's get along with the next lesson. I want you to get the feel of the French language, Andy. So I'm going to run over a little song here. It's that Nitsha Snitchel Bank, Yak Das It Not Snitchel Bank, Snitchel Bank, Snitchel Bank, Old Show, Old Show, Old Show, Snitchel Bank. This is French, huh, Kingfish? Sure, any genuine Castilian French. No, uh, <laughs> is that Nitsha Schnitzel Bank? Yeah, that's his. Wait a minute, kid. What is a Schnitzel Bank? Well, any, uh, just what the word say. It's a bank where you deposit Schnitzels. <laughs> the word, all right, but I don't think I'm going to ever get a chance to use it. Well, Andy, now you sing it with me this time. Yeah. It's that Nitsha Schnitzel Bank. Yeah, that's his. That's his. Oh, hello, Amos. Oh, uh, hi, fellas. Say, what's going on here? Well, uh, I was learning French, Amos, and I was doing pretty good, too. <laughs> I already know where to deposit schnitzels if I ever get any. <laughs> that all out of your ears. That ain't French, it's German. German? Uh, uh, uh. Is you, uh, 100% sure of that, Amos? Why, well, certainly, that's a German song. Well, that certainly fooled me. I know that I shouldn't never have trusted that French governess. Uh, Kingfish, what about my 150 francs? Well, Andy, we just change it over into marks and go on with the letter. It's got me to oh, Hold it. Give me my money. Holy mackerel, Kingfish. Don't you ever get tired of trying to pull fast ones? Well, all right, then. Yeah, there it is. Uh, say, what's all this French stuff for, Andy? I want to kind of gal you men. Oh, yeah, Amos, and I head over heels in love with her, too, but I ain't making no time with her. We don't know what each other is saying. Well, maybe the problem ain't the language. Yeah, Andy, uh, maybe Amos got a point there. I believe I remember reading someplace uh, that uh, before you can make any headway with these phone gals, you got to get the seal of approval from their parents. Oh, so that's it, huh? Well, she don't seem to have no papa. Well, then the mama is the one you got to get in good with. Yeah. I got a date to go up there at 7 o'clock at night, and I'll meet her mama. I'll start the campaign then. Well, so long, Kingby. So long, Amos. So long, Andy. Hey, but Andy, you wouldn't want to buy a beret, would you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amos.
about, son? Did you ever wear one of these things? Now, please, Kingfish. <laughs> Colette? Colette! In a center! Mais oui, maman! J'arrive! Est-ce que c'est plus une la robe? Ah, mais bien sûr, ma chérie. Merci. Je le tends à tout moment. Es-tu amoureuse de Moshe Brown? Ah, il est vieux. Je ne joue pas. Ce n'est qu'un copain pour s'amuser. <rire> Ça doit être à lui qui va. Oui, c'est lui. Hello, honey. How is you? Bonsoir, Monsieur Andy. Quel plaisir de vous voir. Oh, uh, hello, my cherry. Oui, je vous présente ma mère. Uh, oh, your mama, yeah, yeah. Mama, voici donc André Brown. Monsieur Brown, comment allez-vous? Uh, oh, yeah, mama, you know I'm so glad to meet you. You were just as nice as your daughter. Ah, you may pass it, you. Maybe, maybe, ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was a dog, all right. <laughs> Get better acquainted. <laughs> you know, I sure is glad to meet Colette's mama. Mmm, <laughs> something smells good. Uh, what is we having for dinner? Imagine cook some pie. Uh, dinner. Eat. Il a mal à la gorge. Il faut faire quelque chose. That's right. Oh, maman. You know, Colette, your mama show sure is nice. <laughs> ah, this is the life. Ah. <laughs> oh, is this the first course? Je ne sais pas ce que c'est. So it's been a wonderful evening. Well, I'll be going now. Good night, both of you. Bonsoir, André. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bonsoir, André. Good night, Colette. Good night. Maman, as-tu remarqué le même chose que moi ce soir? Comment tu dire? Il parle plus intéressé en toi. Moi. Je la remarque aussi. Memo, il t'aime toi. Pas moi. Oui. <laughs> il est très gentil. Il ferait un mari parfait pour toi. <laughs> Andy, you really got it bad, is ya? But tell me this. Is you picking on proposing to the girl? Yeah, and that's what's got me kind of worried. Andy, you worried about proposing? A man who spent more time on one knee than he has on both his feet? <laughs> well, I admit, Kingfish, that I have preposed to a lot of American gals, but this is the first time I ever dabbled with the import trade. Well, Andy, there's one thing I know about these foreign gals. You got to ask their mama for the daughter's hand in marriage. Yeah, but her mama don't speak no English. How is I going to make her understand I want to marry her daughter? Well, Andy, it's a funny thing about that word marriage with women. Well, what's that, Kingfish? Well, you can say it in Italian, you can say it in German, you can say it in Chinese, and you can say it in Romanian. You can say it frontward, sideways, or backward. But for some reason or other, they all seem to know what it means. <laughs> Nous ne sommes ici que depuis quelques mois et nous ne connaissons personne ici. Oui, mais nous sommes très heureux de vous connaître. Vous êtes aussi, gentil monsieur. Yeah, well, that all sounds very interesting, even if I don't know what you're saying, but... <laughs> Look, try to understand this. Me, Andrew Brown, want your permission 
to marry. Marry? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, Thanks for your permission. <laughs> oh, this is the happiest day of my life. Oh, I guess I'll have to get used to these French customs. Oh, marry you, Papa. Oh, yeah. Uh, now that everything's all set, uh, I'm so nervous, I guess I better go and get everything ready so the wedding can take place as soon as possible. Uh, good day. But long day. Goodbye. Je la ferai à la fin de le journal. C'est une bonne idée. Well, how was the great lover this morning? King Vish, I ain't stopped a minute since yesterday when Madame Duval gave me permission to marry Colette. Oh, I've been making a remit, huh? That's right. Well, Amy, I've just been reading the paper here. Here's the wedding announcement in here already. Oh, it is, huh? Let me see it. Brown the Brown. Arrangements are being made for the forthcoming marriage of Andrew H. Brown and uh, Madame Duval. Say, Kingfish, hmm? what's the difference between Madame and Mademoiselle? Well, uh, I need a whole word to start with uh, Madame, but I think the big difference is the Oiselle. Yeah, but, uh, what is the Oiselle? Well, now, as I recall, uh, the oil means that the gal is still single. Hmm. Says madam, yeah. But I guess the newspapers made a typographical error. No, oh, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, This will solve the whole thing. There's a picture of the bride. <laughs> Holy smoke. I was engaged to marry Mrs. Duval. Andy, how in the world could you do a stupid thing like that? Well, you was the one that told me to get the mama's permission. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Oh, oh, this permission stuff. It's a good thing that Papa wasn't alive. Or I might be engaged to marry him right now. Look, I believe it, people. You had really got a mess on your hands. Yeah, but what is I going to do? I can't tell Mrs. Duval that it's all a mistake, or she'll have the French government on me or something. Well, fellows, how is he? A terrible Calhoun. Andy done found out that he proposed to the wrong woman. Uh, he's lucky. A lot of fellas don't find that out until after they marry. <laughs> it ain't that kind of a thing. I done fell in love with a French gal, and by some mistake, I is now engaged to her mama. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You was engaged to marry the mother of the gal you was in love with? That's right. <laughs> You're going to make an interesting honeymoon. I don't know what to do, Calhoun. I don't know what to tell the old gal. Her and her daughter's on their way over here right now to make arrangements for the wedding. Well, what about you and Colette? Listen, Kingfish, if Colette wants to pawn me off on her mama, it means I don't mean nothing to her. Well, I don't know. Hey, little brother. Here they come, fellas. <laughs> Calhoun, you gotta do something for the boy. Wait a minute, fellas. Don't get me mixed up in this. I, I, I wouldn't know what to tell him. Tell him anything. Tell him I've been married before. Yeah, tell him he done murdered his first wife. That ought to be right. <laughs> Wait a minute, fellas. Look, Calhoun, you gotta do this for me. Come on, Kingfish. Let's go out the back way. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fine kettle of fish. Coming here for a nice social visit and... I do. Monsieur Andre Brown. Oui, Adelie. Uh, Brown, Brown. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I take it you're the woman he's engaged to. And is I glad I see you in time? I got a lot to tell you. Of course, I hate to tell you this about the man you're engaged to, but this man Brown is a killer. You're like a papa. Qu'est-ce qu'il veut nous raconter? Je ne sais pas. Hmm. This is going to be a lot tougher than I thought it was. <laughs> uh, sit down, girls. I say, sit down. Sit down, you know, sit down. Sit down. Yeah, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Yeah, 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 sit down. Now, let me put it to you this way, girls. You see, this Andrew H. Brown has been married before, but he killed his wife. I say, he killed his wife. Look, let me show you. Good. Bang, bang, bang. 
His wife. You have shot me. You have shot me, your bride of only two hours. Bang, bang. And then adding insult to injury, after he shot her, he decided to give her poison. Poison? Yeah, poison, poison. I'll show you. See here? Glass. Water. Glug, 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 glug. As if that wasn't enough, he changed into a monster and decided to give it the finishing touches. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you can, anyway? You got your nerve. <laughs> like I got to go at this from a different angle. Look, gal. Now, this man Brown is a murderer, but I'm going to show you how he operates. Come here, come here, come here. He'd come up to you and make violent love to you to make you think he's a nice fella. My yeah, you're a Johnson. And then he'd snuggle up real close to you like this to make you think he's crazy about you. Ah, oh, maman, je pense que tu es mon fils. He'd tell him all the same thing. Sugar, you was the most beautiful woman I have ever met. Then after he get you all softened up and get you in a romantic mood, he tell you, I love you. I love you. Look, y'all understand that? Oh, oui, monsieur. Nous compagnons. I know that'll do it. I mean, no. Avant de retour d'Henri Brown. So, je le ferai tout de suite. Bien. What's going on here? from Calhoun so we can find out what happened when Colette and Ms. Duval come in here. Yeah, it's been an hour since they come in and I think he should at least uh, tell us how it come out. Yeah. Yeah, well, maybe they... Calhoun, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I don't know. But whatever it was, it was terrible. Oh, what do you mean? Well, I, I was trying to get him off of Andy's neck. But somewhere along the line, they got the idea that I wanted to marry the old girl. I got out of there just in the nick of time. Andy, she's still yours. Oh, man. I'm still in a mess. They need a one. They got the sense you were born with. And as you don't look like I got to straighten the thing out. Andy, you definitely don't want the old gal. No, Kingfish, I don't want no part of her. Okay, I'll go up there and settle this thing once and for all. I'm going to give it to him straight from the shoulder. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do, Kingfish. Make him understand the situation. Yeah, and I'll let you boys know what happened. <laughs> Hey, Kingfish, how'd you make out yesterday when you went up to see Mrs. Duval? Oh, great, Andy. I just took my time and I made it clear to her that she wasn't interested in her. And the whole thing was a mistake. Well, thank goodness for that. Kingfish, I don't know what I'd do without you sometime. 
Well, Andy, I just use my head. Now, these things can be done if there's a fruit with a certain amount of intelligence. Yeah, well, I gotta hand it to you, son. <laughs> Kingfish. What is it, Amos? Look. Holy mackerel! They got me, man, the old gal. 